the Focusrite Sapphire range. The only interfaces with Focusrite Pre's. Focusrite, the interface company. I'm here at the AES show with Mark from BAE. It's a company that specialises in making recreations of vintage gear and I'm sure from looking at the front panel you can probably guess what kind of vintage gear that is. They have some new products for the show and Mark's going to tell us about them. Hi, the first product is uh, what we call a 1023. We'd, we'd uh, built a 1073 for many years and we wanted to extend it. People, you know, like the sound. We just see, we saw what we could do with that. So instead of 12K on the 1073, we have 10, 12, 16, 20, and 24. Not only that, but the mid-range goes from 160 all the way around to 10K on this end. So you've got 10, 10K twice, it overlaps. So um, that was our version, basically. You know, we put the impedance switch on the, on the front as the usual DI's 48 EQ phase. So it's a 1073 that goes up to 11, basically. Basically, it's a deluxe 1073, exactly. Um, it comes in a, a module version that'll fit in any console, any vintage Neve console, of course, our, our rack or mixer. It comes in blue and black. For some reason, you know, we decided we wanted to go black on this one, but um, that's just aesthetics. But yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a deluxe 1073, basically. So what's the availability and cost on this? Cost in the module version is 29.75. Uh, racked up like this, it would be 32 with the power supply, or I think 60, 61 for the two channel. Okay, and I believe you can show us the insides of the original units and yours to show how close exactly. they are. Exactly, and that's uh, that's what we have here right behind you. Okay, let's go over there now. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, the vintage Neve 1073. And this is our module. Just to show people at the show that this is pretty much the same thing. These are old St. Ives Transformers. These are new St. Ives Transformers, but St. Ives is now called Carn Hill. But essentially, it's the same. It's the same factory. It's the same machines. You know, a couple of girls are still there. I went over to visit them a few years ago. The way that it's loomed, it's, it's all important. We use camphored wire that com comes from England. The only thing we've, uh, we've changed between the two modules is the old switches. These are old carbon pots, which, um, as you know, you know, they, they lasted a limited period of time. They were a bit clunky sounding on the switch and, and the pot. So I think even Neve in the later days went to Elmer, which again are in business, still there in Switzerland. So we use the Elmer switches. The other thing regarding the old pots, uh, the old switches and the components used on the cars, they were plus or minus 20%. That's why, you know, some of the vintage stuff, you can't really match it up until you, you really go at it. On the new stuff, you bang on that frequency. So essentially, built the same way just today. And um, so I can just show you a bit higher. This will fit straight in a console. This will fit straight in an old console, or this will fit in our new rack. It's totally cross-compatible. 